This is the instructions for setting up VPN connections under Windows XP. Along with the link for this file, you should have received a sheet with your company's information on it. To set up the VPN connection, we must first go to the control panel. To do this, click Start, and then open the control panel. Find the connection for the listing for network connections, and double click that. On the left hand side you will see create a new NIC connection. Click here and a wizard will appear. Hit next on the initial screen and you will choose connect to a network at my workplace. Hit next. We're going to choose that it's a virtual private network connection and choose next. Under company name use the information provided on the sheet. For this example we will use Sharpenware. If you get prompted to dial a connection automatically, choose Do Not Dial the Initial Connection and hit Next. Again, from your sheet there should be a hostname or IP address listed. For this example, we will use mail.sharpenware.com and hit Next. This is a matter of preference. If you have other people using the computer that will need the VPN as well, you may want to choose anyone's use. Then hit Next. If you wish to have a shortcut on your desktop, check the box for Add a Shortcut, and then hit Finish. Once you are at the login screen, the first time we're going to click Properties. On the tab for Options, there is an option for Include Windows Login Domain. Please refer to your sheet to see if this should or should not be checked. For this example, we will check the option. Then go to the Networking tab and double click Internet Protocol TCP IP. If you have DNS or WINS information listed, then click Advanced. If you do not have DNS or WINS information or DNS suffix, you may cancel and log in using the remainder of the information on your sheet. There should be a option on your sheet saying whether or not to leave the remote Gate, default gateway checked or unchecked. For this example we're going to uncheck the option. Click on the DNS tab and under DNS servers if you have DNS servers listed click add and type in the addre first address listed. We'll use the address of 192.168.65.2 for this example. Now we have another address listed, so we will click Add again and enter in the next address, which is 192.168.65.3. Again, your sheet will more than likely differ. On our sheet we also show a DNS suffix, so in this case we would type it here. If you have Win servers listed, you click on the Wins tab and hit Add and enter the first WINS listing. Click Add again for the second listing. When you're finished with that, click OK, and then click OK again. And finally, OK one more time. We are now back to the login screen, where we will enter in the information provided. This username and password are usually the same as what you use in your main office. Please refer to your sheet to find out the correct domain name. Choosing to save the username and password is also a matter of preference. If you wish it to only be saved under your own login, you would use me only. If everybody shares the same login and other people log on to your computer, then you could choose anyone who uses this computer. Do not select anyone who uses this computer if the VPN uses separate passwords because it could be a security risk. And then hit connect. As you see, there's now another icon in the corner indicating the VPN connection. If you have a script listed on your sheet, you would follow the instructions for that script and work on your system. At this point, your network is connected to the network at your office. You should be able to access any of the resources available on your network. And when you are finished, you need to make sure to disconnect the VPN connection. You can do this one of two ways. In the VPN network connections, as you see here, you can right click on the VPN and choose disconnect. Or, 
On the icon indicating the VPN in the bottom left right hand corner, you can right click there and choose disconnect. Once you are disconnected, you are back to using your machine only and are no longer on the company network. Please make sure to disconnect your VPN whenever you're done using network resources so you don't tie up the resources or pose the vulnerability to your company's network. Thank you, and if you have any other questions, please refer to your administrator for assistance.